Hello and welcome back to the vlog, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a whole new year. Uh, hopefully everyone made it through the last year in one piece. If you didn't, well you are probably now a ghost and I'm sorry to be the one to have to break it to you, but on the other hand you can now fly so there is some good news maybe? Anyway, um, in this video what I'd like to do is just uh, just have a little chat about all the podcasts that I listen to because I listen to an awful lot of podcasts. I happen to have a job where I can do my work and listen to podcasts and I happen to have a car where I can drive around and listen to podcasts and if you don't know what a podcast is it is kind of like a YouTube video but but unlike a YouTube video you can put it in your ears you don't have anything to watch because there is no video it's just audio and you listen for half an hour an hour or so and you feel better for the experience. Now there is something that I'd like to do uh, before that I'd like to just um, insert something at the beginning of the video and that is that there is going to be a change in YouTube's policy. So YouTube are changing their policy from this year which means going forward they can especially on channels like this where there is no option for monetization so I can't put adverts on my videos and get paid for it. But YouTube are going to be doing that. They're going to be putting adverts on small channels like this and they're going to be taking 100% of the revenue and putting it back into hosting and services I guess. Um, on one hand it kind of sucks because I do like having videos with no advertising on them but on the other hand I kind of understand YouTube is a free platform for creators like me to upload a frankly astonishing number of giga squaggles of information and hosting and serving all of that does cost money so yeah on one hand I understand on the other hand fair warning there's probably going to be adverts at some point and just know that I'm not getting paid for them okay cool well that was a thing moving on back to the podcast moving back to the podcast but moving on with the video those are things that are happening I have to write them down otherwise I'll just get lost I'll start talking about things like pictures of the queen like Queen Victoria, the best queen, the only queen, but a tiny picture that, you know, that you could put in your wallet. I'm getting distracted. Okay, cool. So, uh, in no particular order, podcasts. Um, Mission to Zix. Mission to Zix is a sci-fi comedy podcast with the production values and sound mix of a BBC radio play. And I mean that in, in a positive way, a positive light. I, I, can't, I can't tell you how brilliant this podcast actually is. Uh, if you only listen to one podcast, this should be it. Um, and although it's improvised, it is hard to tell that it's not all been planned out like some massive novel. Uh, I have some text from their website. Mission to Zix is created and performed by improvisers who met at the Upright Citizens Brigade Theatre in New York City. I've never been to New York, but I'm sure it's a lovely place. Uh, it features Jeremy, Jeremy Bent, Alden Ford, Ali Kokesh, Seth Lind, Winston Knoll and Mojan, Zul <laughs> Mojan Zulfagari. Why did I stumble on that? I have never stumbled on that name uh, before. Uh, with recording and sound design and mixed by Shane O'Connell. Um, yeah, so basically these guys all get together, they improvise uh, an episode, and each episode features a special guest comedian who plays an inhabitant of the Zix Quadrant, unlucky enough to encounter our crew. Episodes are fully improvised and lovingly edited and sound designed. Um, basically, if you feel that there is not enough sci-fi in the world and you need a really robust um, sci-fi comedy in your life, then Mission to Zix is it. And it is, it is at the first, it's the, my tippity top of podcasts to check every week to make sure there isn't a new episode out. Um, following on from that, Hello from the Magic Tavern. Uh, hello from the Magic Tavern and Mission to Zix are kind of on similar lines. I think Hello from the Magic Tavern came out first and they use um, they use sound mix and design to make the world come alive and Mission to Zix said oh we'd like some of that so they used it and they they use uh, sound design to make their world come alive and then the the advances in that podcast bounce back into Hello from the Magic Tavern. Are you still following? Um, Hello from the Magic Tavern is an improvised comedy podcast set in the fantasy world of Foon. The first seasons take place in a tavern called the Vermilion Minotaur in the town of Hogsface, while later seasons see the hosts leave the tavern to explore the world. Uh, this is another podcast that uses a lot of sound design to make the world come alive and it features Arnie Niekamp who fell through a portal into the magical world of Foon. 
Chunt, the Talking Badger slash Shapeshifter, and Usador, the Blue Wizard of the Twelfth Realm of Ephesius, Master of Light and Shadow, Manipulator of Magical Delights, Devourer of Chaos, and that name goes on for a long time. It's actually one of the bits in the podcast. Um, it's been going on for several seasons, and it is very robust. It is is great. If you're kind of into Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Hello from the Magic Tavern is definitely up your street it is uh, up your alley it is in your wheelhouse um moving on moving on quickly omnibus with an exclamation mark yeah so this is this is a factual uh podcast i like listening to podcasts and learning things um and this is kind of similar to reading i guess an omnibus or encyclopedia or some sort of factual knowledge work so with ken jennings and john roderick omnibus is an encyclopedic reference of strange but true stories compiled as a time capsule for future generations um, so the premise of the show is that it is a repository of human knowledge and esoterica where bi-weekly the hosts explore subjects such as Jesse Owens' gold medals or George Washington's teeth. Um, yeah, it is it's definitely amongst my top podcasts and I do uh, regularly go and check and work my way through the back catalogue of these guys. Um, it, is, it is brilliant. If you just like absorbing knowledge, um, this is definitely the podcast for you. Next up. Mmm, off book, the improvised musical. Don't get this confused because I think there are other off book podcasts out there and I think they're like financial podcasts or something. No, this this is definitely off book colon the improvised musical. Um, you get a brand new original original musical every week where each episode Jess McKenna, Zach Reno and a special guest create a new musical on the spot. Uh, yeah, if you're into Broadway musicals, this is the podcast for you. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna preface this one with it's probably not suitable for children. Um, definitely, if you download this one and want to play this thing in the car, I would say listen to it first and make sure make sure it's it's clean enough for your kids. You are you are going to be the judge in that one. But in terms of quality. Um, yeah, no, this is another really top quality podcast, really good sound mix and design. It is brilliant. It's hard to believe sometimes that these things are actually improvised. Um, Zach Reno and Jess McKenna, I mean, sometimes they get a guest that's not, you can tell they're a little bit worried about singing into a microphone, but these guys just carry them. And it is, it is a brilliant thing to behold. In fact, uh, I love off book. Um, especially on long car journeys. I don't like listening to the radio. So what I'll do is I'll download a bunch of off-book uh, improvised musicals and then just listen to them as I'm driving along. It can get a little bit weird if you happen to be stuck in traffic and you roll the windows down and you've got songs about things happening coming out of your car. As long as you don't have to explain them to anyone, it's brilliant. Um, yeah, so off book the improvised musical, another really good podcast. Um, and I think that's probably up to this. So that's number four. I think that's four. Yeah, that's four. Um, number five, myths and legends. I love ancient history. I love myths and I love love. I love legends. I love, I love, love, love. Why was that word? Why am I having such a hard time getting words out? I think I need to eat a sandwich. I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, so I love stories, I love history, and I love knowing where things come from. Um, so this show brings you folklore that has shaped our world, some incredibly popular stories you think you know, but with surprising origins. Others are stories that might be new to you, but are definitely worth a listen. Uh, these stories of magic kings, vikings, dragons, knights, princesses and wizards from a time when the world beyond the map was a dangerous, wonderful and terrifying place. Um, so every week Jason comes out with a new, uh, a new story. So there are things like um, Cinderella or uh, Little Red Riding Hood. Now these are going beyond the Brothers Grimm tellings of the stories. These are going back right back to the original stories and for Little Red Riding Hood the original story was actually an Italian story about Little Red Cap. The wolf was an ogre and Granny was well very much turned into uh, lots of house furnishings. It's, it's a very different story to the one Disney would tell, I'll tell you that. Um, unlike unlike Off Book, the improvised musical, um, if there is something a little bit weird or not for kids, then uh, Myths and Legends will let you know right at the beginning of the podcast. So you can listen to it with your kids, but if there's 
if there's scenes of an unsavory nature, Jason will just say, dudes, come on, this is gonna happen. Listen to the podcast and make up your own mind. Um, yeah, I love it. I love it. If you uh, if you like all the Greek legends or the Viking legends or the King Arth- Arthurian legends, then you, this podcast has you covered. There are a few things that I would like to... A, a few things. A few podcasts that I would like to give honourable mentions to. Um, first is My Favourite Murder. Um, My Favourite Murder is a podcast about historical murders. Actual people getting all chopped up and stuff. Um, it's good, but... Yeah, it's it, it's not in my top five because sometimes you can just be all murdered out, if you know what I mean. But if uh, if sort of crime podcasts are your thing, my favorite murder should be in that list. Um, Friendly Fire. The Friendly Fire podcast is also also has John Roderick in it. So the guy from Omnibus also does Friendly Fire. Uh, Friendly Fire is a podcast about war films. And it dives a little bit deeper than just going, oh, this is a war film, let's do a review on it. Um, the hosts actually go into things like uh, cinematography and how things were filmed and then history and what things were going on about the time that the film was made and in the, the world of the film, what things were going on uh, back then. And it's it's a really interesting way of looking at these, uh, these, these war films. It's a themed podcast, but it, it delves into the world of cinematography um, at least on a surface level and, and gives you sort of a background and working knowledge of, of how these films are made. I like it, but it's not for everyone. And finally, on my list of honourable mentions, Levar Burton Reads. Now, reading Rainbow was not a thing in the UK. We didn't have it. I don't think we even had uh, like reruns of it at all. But uh, as far as I know, Levar Burton, um, who played Geordie LaForge, in Star Trek The Next Generation, he, he had a, a series of television uh, programs where he would read stories to children. Everyone's grown up, so he's now reading stories to adults because adults were coming along saying, I loved your show, can you do one way you read stories to adults? And so he takes short stories and he will read you short stories and it is absolutely brilliant. Um, it is a l- very lovely, lovely podcast. So I'm going to leave you there. If you like these, um, if you like these these vlogs, that's exactly what we're doing. We're doing a vlog. If you like these vlogs, definitely leave uh, a thumbs up because that will help the video um, get search rankings and stuff. Um, if you want to help the channel, definitely leave a little subscribe because subscribe helps the channel. And I tell you what, I'll catch you next time.